dear learners today we are happy to have among us professor kv nagraj he is the head of the department of assam university silchar department of mass communication and journalism welcome sir so sir like uh, would you just uh, tell us give us a idea about what are the research methods like research is a, a quite a you know it's uh, the students either from all the groups be it mass communication or from other social sciences subjects are undergoing researches but what is the actual research method still you know the idea is still a quite vague one so could you uh, please just give I, us a i idea? i must confess uh, that uh, communication research uh, is such a vast subject it becomes really difficult to say many things about communication research uh, in one go yet uh, i can give you a bird's eye view of what communication research its status in india is mm -hmm. see communication research basically had its roots in sociology and psychology and people started trying to understand the impact of media on the audience actually we call it as effects theory and impact studies and when we started doing research we started doing research about the impact of different media especially during the first world war and the second world war particularly during the second world war i should say when radio was used as uh, a, a medium of propaganda by the nazis uh, it started uh, a thinking among certain people that messages are very powerful mediated messages and people are passive they accept the information given by the media that is how we started talking about all powerful media we meant media we meant a powerful institution powerful tool powerful weapon and we decided that people simply accept whatever that is given by the media as a result we had the magic bullet theory you must understand whatever research we do leads to the emergence of certain theories and out of those theories we again get research ideas for further research and this is an ongoing process in most of the social sciences and now after the second world war when media education became important all over the world we started identifying different areas of research and when television came television also brought in new issues for example television and violence and in the us uh, you know violence and children it became synonymous and people started talking about the impact of television and then we started talking about newspapers radio cinema and now we are talking about the new media the internet and other uh, allied sectors what uh, we were trying to find out is uh, uh, number 1 is the effect aspect number 2 is the cause aspect we call it as causal studies and we are going beyond that you know new areas are emerging and from media habits to media effects we are moving towards other areas for example nowadays people from linguistics and literature they have started showing interest in media studies you know in 1940s we had a school called frankfurt school most of the social scientists there had leftist ideas when the nazis came to power all these people ran away to different countries because of the fear of persecution okay then 
uh, you know, we had the school, a uh, Birmingham school, then we had another school, Toronto school, Chicago school like that, because these people went there and started doing research. And this particular uh, stream was known as cultural studies stream or critical studies school. Culture and media became one area of research. Then politics became another area of research. If you take agenda setting theory, it uh, emanated from political campaigns in American presidential elections. Similarly, there were many other issues. And people from other disciplines, uh, whether it was uh, Walter Lippmann or whether it was Jürgen Hammerbass, people started talking about the place of media in the society. Now we are moving towards other areas uh, where uh, you know you can make experiments. For example, discourse analysis, textual analysis, phenomenology, media aesthetics, you know, I am talking media literacy. These are the emerging areas of research currently. That is one aspect. And in the West, they have been doing a huge amount of research which is of good quality. At least they have the methodological rigor which I mentioned earlier. But in India, Unfortunately, there has been no grooming in communication research and communication research methodology has not been given proper focus, no proper training. As a result, we are getting low quality production and as I told you, many of the doctoral theses are not up to the mark. There is an urgent need for us to revamp the whole research system, the research area. And I think we have to take a very strong step. And the second thing which I should like to mention is, in the West, the industry takes interest in financing research projects. But here in India, we are dependent upon the public institutions like the UGC or the ICSSR, or any other agency you know, funded by the government. There the private companies are investing huge sums of money in media research. I can tell you one more thing. You know, we have a distinction between research for the market, research for academics. Academic research aims at certain formal degrees, whereas Market research bothers about what the ratings are, what the circulation is, what do people accept and how to reach out to them. The TRPs are a fine example of market research. Now you understand the difference. Can we bridge the gap between the two? It becomes very difficult. And in the West, every teacher gets funding from private institutions every year to do research. In India, we don't have that kind of uh, facility and also opportunity. And uh, everybody who applies for funding may not be able to get. Only a few privileged and the fortunate will get. Now, how to improve the standards? The first thing is, you know, I must tell you, we have to send some teachers abroad to be trained in media research. That is one step. The second step is if we can't send everybody abroad or at least few people abroad, bring some people from abroad, take international funding agencies, take their collaboration and bring them here, ask them to teach the methods and then the most important aspect is reorient it towards local conditions because Everything Western cannot be adopted to the Indian conditions. In other words, localization of research method is also important. And that way we will have to think of. And, you know, quality 
I know it is very subjective. But all of us know that there is something called as quality. And we have to develop certain parameters of quality so that everything will become acceptable at the international level. It is a very sad reflection that our higher education system, even though we are the third largest uh, uh, manpower in terms of science and technology, unfortunately our standards are falling and our people are not acceptable en masse. Of course, there is always a minority of students who perform globally well, but how to make the standards, the quality on a larger scale, on a national scale, that is important. I went to China, I have seen how China is progressing in higher education. I think we have to have that kind of commitment to change the system. And you know, it requires not one person's involvement it, in, uh, it is a collective involvement and that's what uh, I have been telling. There is an organization in the U.S. of media educators, Sigma Tapa Chi, and they meet every year. Thousands of teachers and media persons gather and they discuss the problems, standardization aspects and it is a satisfying experience for everybody and all this comes from one factor called accountability. Make teachers accountable for research and try to put them on the track, then I think things will be happening. Thank you, sir. Thank it you It was very a much. Uh, great experience talking to you and uh, I hope uh, not only me, but the, all the learners will be benefited through your uh, this uh, great talk. And thank you, sir, for being here. Okay. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. It was an experience for me also to know certain problems, certain issues that always, uh, you know, uh, crop up in the young minds. I hope they will be benefited. Thank you, Thanks a lot.